here from my great challenge .blogspot.com. It's that time of the month where I open my Ipsy Glam bag. I got it on the 14th of this month. Of course I opened it because, you know, everybody was raving about it as being one of the best bags. And it is a really good bag. So, I'm not going to wait too long. I'm just going to dive right into it, show you what I got. If you want to see the review for the bag I received in August, 2014 the link is below it will take you directly to my blog this is the bag I received this time around it's called street style look at the pretty bag it's like a silver I don't know like lame type thing it looks with the studs right here it looks very much like a Michael Kors bag I just you know just saying um, anyway so here are the contents the bag itself is just all right, to be honest. I mean, the design is pretty cool, but it feels like it's not made very, very well. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to use it in my purse because this is kind of like a full color and it's metropolitan in style. So I kind of like it. All right. So let me put the stuff on the side. I got this Pacific and Natural Minerals and I believe it's an eyeliner right here so let me open it because you know i opened the back but i didn't try the products and this is one of those where you have to break a nail to get it open hold on i should be prepared don't you think i got it did i yeah all right so this looks like a a, a brown color it smells like a, a crayon here it is i'm sorry about the sun last week i complained i didn't have any light um this week I have a lot. Alright, so you see it in the sun and in the shade. It's definitely, yeah, it's a brown, grayish brown. It's a little dry. Let's see how long it stays on. Oh, yeah, it's got good power. I mean, the good staying power. It's not great. It's a little dry. Um, I don't know. I mean, Pacifica, I like their brand. I love their blood orange um, body cream the whole the whole line that's blood orange really like it i love the cream and the scents but so far the makeup i received the uh, uh and i think it was in an ipsy bag as well or maybe it was echo me i'm not sure it was a gray and and purple eyeshadow very very dry as well so i don't know the makeup i don't know the makeup line has not impressed me but anyway next is a beautiful brush um, and it's from, hmm, gotta pull it out. Hold on, hold on. This is a brush from Crown. I don't think you can see it from here. Anyway, so it's a double ended brush. It's got the uh, blending right here, very soft. And then it's got kind of like a little smudge or definition kind of, you know, eyeliner. Not eyeliner, but under the line thing um super good quality very very dense and soft i mean look at this it's a very hold on I'm making sure you get the zoom very nice brush on both sides i just don't care much about double-ended brush because they never come with the caps so while these are very functional and great for travel they always seem to to get dirty for me i don't know but i'm definitely going to try this i mean it looks like a high quality brush it's very very soft and dense gorgeous brush love it it's from oh this is a c476 crease and shadow okay there we go c476 you got the crease right here and the shadow right there so I could actually see myself do the lower lash line here or maybe the V um, or corner with that. So good by Crown. Never heard of them. Next is a NYX eyeshadow. It's this one right here. And the color is a Dress to Kill Fashion Victim. Ooh. I love NYX. NYX has very good eyeshadows. Um, they, they tend to be a little powdery. But they stay on for quite some time. It's the cutest little package with the little bow on the side. We're going to swatch it right now. It looks like it's a, a shimmer. Definitely a gray. Like a um, charcoal gray. You see the shimmer on it? So here it is in the light. Too much light. And here it is in the shade. I'm going to put it right here. Nice. It's very pretty. It's like a gunpowder. It's got a little bit of a taupe in it. I like this. This is a very nice eyeshadow. I'm definitely going to try that. Um, 
it's a little bit too shimmery for me but I think oh and it stays on quite a lot I mean I'm going like this and I can still see a lot of glitter on my hand this is a great color for the holidays like if you go on a New Year's Eve or even Christmas Eve or any holiday that you celebrate like if you have to be a little bit oopla and dressed up nice gray is always and a smoky eye always always a best all right so what's next next is this brio geo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask i'm going to assume without reading it that this is for the hair and i'm definitely going to try that repairing mask for dry damage or chemically treated hair mm. comes with a nice little stopper i like it where companies send you samples that are obviously they've put some work and effort into the packaging of their own samples Oh, this smells nice. It's like a, uh, a coconut, I guess. Um, replenish, restores, repair, don't despair, repairs, fortified with ultra hydrating avocado, sweet almond and organ oils. No coconut. Power conditioning, rosehip oil and super hair essential vitamins. This unique conditioning complex helps increase hair elasticity to prevent breakage and promotes healthy shine. Hmm, definitely, definitely going to try that. I may actually try it tomorrow when I take my shower before I go to work. All right, next. Next is that Kaolin Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss. It looks like a very, very nude type color. Let me see. It's a nice full size. Nice packaging. I love, you see the uh, the clear here? Very nice packaging. Let me see what kind of doe food. Talking about standard, not slanted doe food. Here's the color very pretty here it is in the shade and in the sun it's um i don't know does it have any smell no no scent i like a lip gloss that doesn't have a scent so let's try it on it's like a um i don't know how to describe it it's like a pink apricot there's not much coral but it's definitely like a um a full color now i have on the uh, um the one i bought for my birthday the estee lauder discreet in the color envy so i'm going to put it on over it I can't see can you tell it's a nice nice formula very slippery not gooey not tacky not sticky um, it feels a little bit too fluid but otherwise very emollient nice I like this they sent me um, another one a couple of months ago that came in a very weirdly shaped tube. It almost looked like a, uh, um, a nail polish and I didn't care for the packaging but it was a great color and a great form and it was almost like a matte. And this one is, uh, is a gloss, Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss. And this color is 09 in Basic Instinct. See that? It's a very, very nice color. Let me see if I can closer. Mm. Nice. I like it. All right. So this was the content of my... Is there anything else? No. This was my Ipsy Glam Bag for September 2014. I love Ipsy. $10 a month and I get all this stuff. You can beat it. It kind of curbs on my spending, though lately I've been a little overboard with that. But I always get to try new things. The Pacifica, all right, I'm going to try it. But I can tell right now it's going to be too dry and tug on my eyelids. A deep conditioner, definitely. NYX eyeshadow. I'm a sucker for eyeshadows. The double-ended brush. I'm going on a trip to Ohio, actually, in two weeks. And um, is it two? Almost two weeks. And um, we're going to be there for four days. So I'm definitely going to take that with me, see if I can... You know kind of like pack lighter this year because I usually take my whole all my junk with me um, and then this lipstick here lip gloss from Caitlin very nice and the Metropolitan looking bag okay um, Ipsy is ten dollars a month I think it's a great value if you want to subscribe to Ipsy Glam Bag, I put a referral link down below. Um, you're going to be put on the waiting list because a lot of people want it. The waiting list lasts for about uh, if you go on now, you're probably going to have the waiting list throughout October, mostly mid-November, but definitely would have your bag in December. And sometimes just to rush you um, into getting your bag, they might ask you to share 
uh, on Facebook that you're on the waiting list or something like that. That's how I got mine. Anyway, and it comes in that pretty bubble envelope, which I'm probably going to recycle because the holidays are coming and I got plenty of stuff to ship. All right. This was Sophia for my great challenge blogspot.com. Thank you for watching my videos. Like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.